All right, let's talk about materials, the things that you're absolutely going to need in order to be successful in Hotel Prius. All right, so I've got it kind of laid out for you. We're gonna go over it real quick. I'll go into more detail a little bit later. First things first, you're gonna need Tupperware, all right? Go ahead, go to Walmart, go to Target, go to the container store and pick yourself up about seven different types of containers. First one you're gonna need is a 56 quart container. This is gonna be your basement. The next one you're gonna need, a 28 quart container. This one's gonna be your pantry. Two 15 quarts, one's gonna serve as your snack box. The other one's gonna serve as your car essentials. Pick yourself up one of these bad boys. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the quarts on them, doesn't say, but they're called show-offs. Um, they're kind of the, the bigger ones, kind of taller. This one's gonna be your pots and pans, your water, your bowl, that kind of thing. Um, and then pick her up two six quart containers. Um, one of them's gonna serve as kind of your miscellaneous box where you're gonna hold anything from super glue to carabiners to lighters to whatever miscellaneous things. Um, and then the other one is gonna serve as your utensils and cookware, all right? The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need to go buy Home Depot. All right, pick yourself up a couple of things. Um, number one, two dowel rods, all right? First one, um, it's gonna be about the size of a, a quarter. You're gonna get this cut in Home Depot. You can use the handsaw that they have. Um, shouldn't be hard to find. And get it cut to about 40 inches, all right? This is gonna serve as your closet clothes hanger. All right, next thing you're gonna wanna get is another dowel rod. It's the uh, 716 inch. Go ahead and use the handsaw again. Cut this one to about 41 and a half inches. This is gonna serve as your curtain rod. You want it thin, you want it small. That way you can get curtains to slide on and off of this guy. Um, and then what you're gonna need is if you've got two nails, insert them into the side. I went ahead and did this in Home Depot. I just kind of stuck it in there. I tapped it on the floor. Um, and these, these right here, they're gonna kind of hang on your door frames and you're gonna be able to have curtains that go in and out like that. All right, while you're at Home Depot, go ahead and pick yourself up a whiteboard. You're gonna spend anywhere between eight and 12 bucks on this guy, depending if it's on sale or not. Um, they come in sheets, but you can actually get this cut in Home Depot. Um, just ask the, one of the associates, they'll take you to the saw, they'll get it to cut to your dimensions that you want. Uh, my recommendation is to get it 30 by 24 inches. All right, so we've got 30 by 24. This is gonna serve as your pull-out kitchen table. And what you're gonna wanna head and do is this is where your charm is gonna come into place. Get these holes cut out. Um, you can go to the rental center where they have drills and the other machinery and just ask the, the man or woman that's standing behind the counter if they wouldn't mind please cutting out some holes. And then attach the little 99 cent carabiners on the end of it. And what that's gonna do is gonna make it real easy um, to pull in and out of, all right? The next thing that you're going to need, you can go to Target, you can go to Ikea for these. Um, I think I spent four or five bucks on them each. They're the little foldable um, storage containers. But one is going to serve as your laundry, um, and the other is going to serve as your clean clothes. I do jeans, shirts, sometimes shoes. And then, if you can, go ahead and pick up yourself a mesh bag. You can use your sleeping bag mesh as your laundry bag, or you can pick this up for $0.99, cents, $1.99. Um, Target, I think, has them. And then inside, you've got Tide Pods, and you've got um, some bleach that I just poured into a Fiji water bottle, um, and it kind of serves as that. All right, the next thing you're gonna need, a little camping stove. And you can get these at any outdoor store, REI definitely. Here's the thing with REI, I love it. It's my favorite store in the whole entire world. You will pay a little bit more, I think around 50 bucks, but the benefit is if it breaks for whatever reason, you could just exchange it for another one. Don't go too crazy. You just need something that's gonna help you cook while living out of your car, all right? Next thing you're gonna need is just a little hardtop suitcase. I definitely recommend hardtop simply because this is also gonna serve as your desk. I picked this up at Salvation Army. I paid three bucks for it. I got lucky. If you don't find one immediately, just keep shopping around. Goodwill, Salvation Armies, thrift stores in the area. These are pretty popular. You're bound to find one eventually. Absolutely paramount. Get yourself a day pack. It doesn't have to be Patagonia, although I highly recommend it. <laughs> um, I really like the square design um, just because it's easier to kind of fill and stuff. This is just quick, easy. And what I keep inside, I've got, you know, of course, an extra change of clothes, socks, a pair of shoes in case I need whatever. I also have um, a toiletry kit. Um, I really like this toiletry kit. I got it at Target. I spent eight to 10 bucks on it. I can't remember, but 
It's a nice little rollout. I think it's used for women's makeup, but it's perfect for what I need it for. Um, just because it rolls up real nice. I got everything that I need in here. Um, it's got a little hook, so when I go to YMCA's and take a shower, it's right there. It's quick, it's easy. I, of course, also have a laptop in here. I've got little tripods for my camera stuff. And also a little surge protector for the times when I'm in a coffee shop and I just need to get a quick charge on my cell phone, on my Kindles, on my backup battery packs, on my laptop. I like to use just one outlet, a small little extension cord, and just be able to charge all those things at once. All right, next thing. This is perhaps probably the most important thing about Hotel Prius. It's gonna make it possible to continue living out of your car for long periods of time, the bed itself. I've kind of been playing around with this. It's kind of taken on many forms. The best thing that works for me is two things. Number one, a sleeping pad. These can get pretty expensive. You don't know where to look. Probably the best way to do it is ask a friend or a relative if they've got an extra one um, kind of lying around that you can use. Uh, my recommendation for the sleeping pad is find one that's rectangular um, rather than mummy shaped because it, it doesn't really allow to maximize your space. You want to be able to stretch and move and do what you gotta do. This one right here is the X-Bed Regular. I think it's regularly 165. I got it at an REI garage sale. I paid 60 bucks for it. The other thing that I'll recommend along with the sleeping pad um, is this foam pad. It's three inches. I got it at Joanne Fabrics. You can find it at most craft stores, but um, what I like about Joanne Fabrics is I got this for 50% off. So I think I would've paid like 45, 50 bucks for it. I ended up only spending about 25. But what this allows it's just that little extra cushion to make me feel just a little bit more comfortable. And in my opinion, absolutely worth it. I think all Priuses are slightly different. So go ahead and just measure beforehand the length that you're going to need. And then just kind of use a, a, a box cutter and kind of cut the dimensions you need. This is old, but it really doesn't matter what it looks like because you're not going to see it anyways. What else? Oh yeah, while you're at Joanne Fabrics, go ahead and pick yourself up some fabric. Um, if you don't want to spend the money, ask a friend, ask a relative if they have any extra fabric laying around the house. They're going to serve as your curtains, all right? Two different kinds we got here. One of them is, I got these at Ikea um, a while ago and I just kind of always had them so I actually didn't spend money on these. But what they are is they're pillowcases that I went ahead and sewn, sewed a, a line through them, all right? That dowel rod that I mentioned earlier, they're just going to fit right on these. Um, Real cheap, real easy. So if you've got some old pillowcases lying around the house, use those. If not, fabric is just fine. You'll double back, you'll need to sew it. Find somebody that knows how to sew or learn. Um, YouTube is great for that. Some craft stores actually have, um, you can use their sewing machines. So look around, get online, see what you can find if you're absolutely desperate. You're gonna be sleeping out of your back seat. So I have tinted windows, but still, sometimes the light comes through and I wanna block that out. I wanna get it as dark as I can inside my Prius. So I just took some fabric, I doubled it down, and at the end of them, I installed little grommets. Um, you can get a grommet kit, again, Home Depot. Real easy, comes with a little instruction manual, but pretty much just a little hole. All right, what I use for that is, I'm sure you've seen them. Um, you can get these at most grocery stores <clears throat> or you know Walmart, Target, that kind of thing. Those little 3M hooks with the little sticky backs. You can stick these kind of inside your car they come right off. This is what I use to hang the curtains. Last but not least, <clears throat> well, second to last, they're just little little containers. Um, what I use them for, a couple different things. I put some olive oil in it so when I'm cooking, I put some canola oil, which is just a different kind of oil. It doesn't burn as fast. And then I use them for dishwashing soap as well. So just get a little three pack of those, Have keep those full. Then the last thing that you're gonna need, absolutely essential, is a headlamp. If you wanna do a flashlight, be my guest. It's just one extra hand um, that you're not going to have. What's great about this, you just put this on, you can do your thing, don't you almost forget it's there. Other than that, that's all the materials that you absolutely have to have. Next, I'll show you the things that you don't need, but it's certainly great to have when living out of your Prius. Alright guys, let's get started.